In this video, I'm going to show you 10 of the best young left defenders Football Manager 22 has to offer. And for this video, I'm going to focus on players that are 20 years or younger. And remember, when it comes to youngsters in Football Manager, there's always a bit of RNG involved. Their stats and potential will vary a bit from save to save, so make sure to scout them yourself. And first off, we have this young 18-year-old Argentinian, and his name is Julian Ande. And uh, at 18 years old, he has a lot of promising stats, and with the right development, he can become a beast in the future. Next up, we have Riccardo Calafiori. He is 19 years old, Italian, plays for Roma, and he is already looking really, really good. This is actually a player I had myself in my main uh, football match at 21 save, and he became basically one of the best left defenders in the world. And it looks like he has the potential to do the same here in FM22. Next, we have a young German defender from Mönchengladbach, Lukanet. And yeah, it looks maybe a bit disinterested here in this image, but uh, he uh, is really, really strong, especially right now when it comes to his physical attributes. But with a little bit more development, the technical and the mental stats will catch up and he will become a world-class left back. Next, we have Ryan Eight Nori, a 20-year-old French defender. And of course, if you follow the Premiership, you know about him. He is playing for the Wolves and look at these stats. Look at these stats at 20 and he's already at the position where he will be challenging for a starting spot in most uh, smaller or mid-tier teams in, uh, in the top leagues. Next, we have Nuno Mendes and... Uh, Another fantastic youngster, Portuguese, and uh, there is a bit of a special situation with him, because yes, I would definitely like to sign him, but right now he's loaned out to PSG, and in his contract they have an optional future fee they can buy him for, and I would be very surprised if they didn't buy him, because they would be stupid if they didn't buy him. But if they don't, this is a player I would like to pick up ASAP in, uh, for the second season in a, in a save. Then we have Luke Thomas, a 20-year-old English player, contracted to Leicester, and uh, yeah, he will be expensive, because if you're following the Premiership, you know that he is already playing games for Leicester, and uh, he will cost money, but he has uh, the potential to become of the, one of the best English uh, left defenders in the future. Next, we have this youngster. Not only does he have a wonderful hair, he is also, by some people, labeled as one of the potential next big things out of Real Madrid. This 18-year-old Spanish player, David de la Vibora, is clearly a very, very talented player it's from the Youth Academy at Real Madrid. And uh, he has the potential to uh, become something really big if you can manage to tutor and uh, develop him the right way. Next, we have Miguel Guterres and this uh, 19 year old Spanish player, another Real Madrid player, and this guy looks even better. So, yeah, there's some really tough competition for this uh, position in Real Madrid. Two fantastic players. Right now, Miguel looks like the stronger one, but remember, these have quite a few years where they can develop and improve, and both are tremendous talents. Both have the chance to become the better one in the future. In the next position, we have a 19-year-old Croatian playing for Leipzig, and his name is Joskov Gvardiol. And uh, at 19 years old, look at these physical attributes when you see 16, 17, 16, and you have the mental attributes with aggression, 16, 17, 17. So yeah, and then you can find a few 15s around here. He uh, clearly already is uh, looking very, very, very good and uh, could already take a spot in uh, quite a few teams. And finally, the number one pick is a Canadian playing for Bayern Munich, and it's Alfonso Davies. And, I mean, if you're already at this age playing games for Bayern Munich, you know you have some very, very special skills. Clearly, it's going to be extremely expensive, but if you can get him, it's going to be worth it because you are going to have your left back position set for 15 years to come. 
But if you found this list helpful, make sure to press that like button because that helps me out. And of course, did I miss any of your favorite young left defenders? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more FM22 content. Thank you for watching.